All right, shalom, everybody. Uh, I'm back again. Third video. But what I'm trying to do right now, the word needs to go out that the people that are ruling over there in Jerusalem right now, these are not the people of God. They're converts. They're from the tribe of Amalek. And it will take quite some time to explain how we come to that assumption right there. But those people do not belong in the land. When the real people are in the land, the Lord is going to be with them and there's going to be peace on earth. But look, we, we need to get the word out that these are not the people. Now, when you look over there, all these things that they're trying to do, like they're breaking all these quote-unquote humanitarian laws, which a law is nothing if there's no judgment behind it. They've never been punished for all the evil that they're doing over there. However, everyone is starting to wake up and see all the sins that they commit. They're seeing the true nature of these people. Now, <clears throat> even when you look at um, the Gazans or the Palestinians, which are, they are of the seed of Ishmael. Even Ishmael's name means affliction. You see them going through the affliction. That the Edomites are putting upon them. But as I'm saying. All of these evil things that they have done. Is, is being put right in your face now. You can see all the evil that they're doing. All the lies. All the murder. Just all the oppression and evil coming out of them. Now watch this. I'm going to. Psalms. Chapter 137. Get through this as quick as I can. I know our people's attention span. So Psalms 137. I believe I'm just going to be like 7 or 8. Yeah, verse 8. No, verse 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. Which is going into when the Jews that were left were sacked in Jerusalem and carried to Babylon. The Edomites came and they helped the Babylonians take them. And they burnt the temple to the ground. They always burn the temple to the ground. Just like the Romans did. See, spirits don't change. People come back and they do the same thing over and over again. Now... Verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that reward of thee, as thou have served us. So, <clears throat> the Edomites are the daughter of Babylon. Now, Isaiah chapter 47. See, the way the Bible is written, you have to go, as we call precepts, you're going from one place to another to get more detail on one particular subject. Subject, Psalms 147 and verse 1. This is what's happening today. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. The reason she's being called a virgin is because they have not seen mass destruction of their people like they're doing to other folks. Um, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy locks. So the first thing, uncover her covering on her over her hair. Make bare the leg. So now showing some leg, right? Um Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. So what's being happened, what's happening is her nakedness is being shown. The skirt is being lifted up and now everybody can see what she's all about. That's what you're seeing over there, what's happening in Jerusalem and it's also happening uh, dealing with the United States. All that evil is being shown. Uh, verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. 
I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So when Christ comes back, he's taking vengeance on these people. Last, um, last scripture. Revelation, let me hit Revelation 2 and 9 and Revelation 3 and 9. Remember, get this message out. These are not the people of God. The book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Talk about our people. Where is our homeland? But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They're the congregation of Satan. Now, this is at the time, around the time of Christ. Who would that have been? That was Herod. Those were converts all the way back then. The same people, the same great red dragon that was in our heaven then. They're back in there now. Uh, Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. All they do is lie, steal, and kill. Ask the Palestinians. They lie on them continually. They steal the land continually. And they kill them continually. <clears throat> I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee because the Lord loves Jacob and he hates Esau. Jacob or the Israelites are going to be the rulers on the earth. Anyone that needs to ask of anything of the Lord, they have to come to us first because we're going to be the righteous rulers on this planet. Now, I'm done with the scriptures. Now I'm going to show you a list of books that you should get. This one's called The Iron Curtain Over America. And with this, just like others, there was a conversion. You had people called the Khazars underneath their King Bulan. And they were near what today is called Kiev. Matter of fact, the, the um, targum or the symbol of Ukraine is the Khazar symbol. It's the Khazar targum, I think is what it's called. But yeah, there was a conversion. And they're called Judaized Khazars. So this guy... He wrote a book. His name is uh, John Beatty. He wrote this book, Iron Curtain Over America. Yeah, Iron Curtain Over America. Then you have Charles Weissman wrote, Who is Esau Edom? He's saying the same thing. Everybody knows about the conversion. Well, scholars know about the conversion. Average people don't, especially Christians. He, he goes into a lot of detail. I don't know if you can see this. It's like I'm showing you how they came to be because they mixed with some of the descendants of Solomon. <clears throat> this one, Arthur Kessler, 13th tribe. He's He was Jewish. Most of the people that's bringing the truth out our Jewish people, just like Charles Weissman. This is a good one. Uh, another good one, Edwin Black. No, Kevin Allen Brook, The Jews of Khazaria. Get these books. Learn about this. This one, Facts Are Facts. This is written by... It was addressed to Dr. David Goldstein, written by Benjamin Friedman. <laughs> Jewish people. This is an excellent book. It's short, but excellent. Even going to the pipeline. Uh, the History of the Jews. One second. History of the Jews by Hannah Adams. This was written in the 1800s. 
Let me see if I can find something real quick. Because back then, they were called, well, in this book, they're called Khazars. Some books have them as Khazars, some have them as Khazars. And it's real, all you got to do is go to Google and um, put in King Bulan or Khazar Conversion. Judaized Khazars. And their original dwelling place was Mount Seir. Can you make this up? Can't make it up. I don't know. Having a hard time. Oh, there it is. Page 167. Let's see if you can see it. it right here is Kozar is spelled C H, but in other places it's K H, the conversion. And then finally, this book is written by uh, Rabbi Ha Levi. And this is called the Kuzari. Let me look at that. Let's see if I can. So there was something that I understood before I ever read this. Let's see if you can, if if it's visible. I don't know how visible that is. If you can make it out. But like you today you have the Ishmaelites in the land fighting against the Edomites in the land. They were all related. This is one point two two. And the way this is written is from right to left. But anyway, it says if this were not the case, then how do we explain why Edom and Ishmael, Christianity and Islam, two nations which have divided the civilized world between them. So it's all is dealing with <clears throat> everybody that's fighting with pretty much our Semites anyway. You got this stupid term anti-Semitic. We're Semitic. The white man is Semitic and the Arabs are Semitic. But Ishmael is like our older uncle and then our brother nation is Edom. The promise is for us. They both want it. They both want the promise and they both want the promised land. But y'all do your homework. Share these videos. Those are not the people of God. We are so-called black people. Shalom.